Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome back to our home edition renovation project thing. We are gonna be continuing on with the, the front edition on here. Uh, we're trying to get things kind of buttoned up here because the weather is uh, gonna be changing. We had a very warm, sort of atypical fall. We don't typically have nice warm weather, but things are starting to go back to normal here as the temps start to drop and as we see some more uh, precipitation coming in. So today we're gonna hopefully get a lot of this put together and to kind of get to that point, we need to make some rafters and things. So we're setting up our new uh, workshop area. So the back addition, which is all pretty close to being dried in, is gonna become our new workshop. So this is become our new workshop. As soon as we get a few little details knocked out, we're gonna close up this uh, opening, put a temporary door in and maybe put some stairs in because this ramp is getting a little iffy. So a little bit of work back here this morning to kind of get ready for the work in the front. You right there? Yeah. Close enough. We're good. We're good. Because I didn't cut out the plate. So I'm not cutting out the plate yet, so I gotta take an inch uh, off. Up there? I measured it for that. Okay, sorry. Our bottom plate's still there. Yep, and I wanna leave it in there until I actually know where the door is gonna be. Yep. It's in! Wow, that's a miracle. It works! It opens. It, it actually swings. <laughs> I was expecting it to not swing because it's Wednesday. It's even further up there now. Yeah, and it, it's a little bit higher now. Nice.
We're within backboards. Kind of set it up. These are twelve, right? I don't know. Oh. I just grabbed the ones you pointed at. Okay, well, we're about to find out. Yep. Hey, I got lucky. Make it a big triangle thing. Yep. Make it a triangle. <laughs> That works. So our wall is four feet. There's our wall. Okay. Plus sheathing. And then we need to be 11 out inch and a half out, back inch and a half, and three quarters. So. I think you got it. One thing we'd like is have this a little bit bigger, but we're gonna gust it back to here. Yeah. And this is how much sheetrock pull we're hanging. One sheet. And, it, and we're down to three. We're, we're almost two by four there. And if we gusset this, so we need to have, I bet we can do 12 inch, 12 by 12s mm -hmm. with that angle. And then we'll just, um, we'll nail it to this side, lift it out, nail it to the other side and make 13 of those. All right, so we just did a little mock-up here uh, to build the trusses. Normally I would have ordered these, but it's 12 weeks before we get them. Um, so we're just gonna do a hand frame. This is probably a little bit of overkill to build up a jig like this, but now then we'll have them consistently. So we've got a 612 pitch. And then what we did is, this is our old, out, our old outside wall. We're gonna have a hanger on both top and bottom. So these will have hangers. This is our outside of our wall. And then with the dimensions, we'll have another two by six on here, just like it shows on here. And our finish out our fascia. So that's basically we just built that. Yeah, so this flat piece and then this angle piece essentially. Yep. 
Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just take some of this 5 8 plywood and we'll put this on both sides and basically have a small truss that we can put up. settled up there then yep we just set them up there and just set them up there and we'll put we got a hanger top and but we'll put a, a cleat along the wall mm -hmm. and hangers here and here done yeah that's definitely done quickly and it's already pre-cut so as long as our wall is up front done it's over it's, it's, like, it's over now we just need 12 more 13 more something like that how many are you making 13 total 13 total okay so 12 more 12 more. So two of these we won't put the gusset on. Okay. The ones that'll go against the yep. outside walls. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And But we'll put one side and then just slam up against it and then do our spacing directly above our already layout. Yeah, this would be a quick... Uh, There's more set up here than, in, than actually... It well, wasn't that much. That didn't even take you an hour. And you cut everything already too. Yeah. Everything's cut. So... And I just slam them together. Yep, just start sliding them together. We got all of our little baby roof truss things. Next up is the header. More of these things. Y'all gonna throw it on the capex? What does it take the side of the wood situation? How about we put this on there and cut it with this? <laughs> oh. I thought I was a little more supported on that uh, wing. I mean, just statically standing on it is one thing. Standing on it with a beam, balancing that, different. Very different. I 
How's your end? Oh, a little log. Just a little log. So how are you? I mean, oh my, well, how did you cut this? Like freaking perfect? I don't know. It's perfect. So that's what I want. Yeah, got it. Alright. Whoever cut that did a really good job. It did a fabulous job. Alright, now we need a nail gun. Back just a little bit. more. Yeah, that's gonna way, way wicked crown in. Oh my god. It's like two inches. We'll find out. Two yep. Is there a crown? Can you want to come down or what? Yep, yeah, bring it down some, a little more. I think you're really hanging on it. I'm wasting my legs. I'll change spots for you. Oh, wait, 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 here's the. Good. Check on my end because I'm not going to be able to get pretty close. You, you mean you're high still? Here, give me a little more. I mean, your end, I think it's going to be further still. Yeah, you have to know a lot. Uh, I mean, is that going to be good enough? Probably.
Yeah, I may have to go to a different hangar than I was originally planning on doing it this way. Why don't you hold it about a quarter inch out? Yeah. That? It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, for a wall? Yeah. Good. Pretty good. <laughs> I think we're going to call it there. We're getting some weather coming in now. Uh, it just says it starts to rain. How many were Thir 13 of them? Something like that. 13 of them just chilling up there. So I'm just checking, testing out the, the header, huh? seeing how strong the header is. <laughs> so we're still waiting on the final sizes and placement for the windows. So there. that big old hole right there is where all the windows will go and you know properly support the header no we don't need no king studs jack studs i want the queen studs only queen studs where are the queen studs <laughs> so i think this is going to do it for today we're going to have some more uh, fun weather for the next few days so this should be kind of interesting to see what we actually able to get done rain snow sleet yeah it's going to be uh well a typical seasonal day. November. Yep. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. We got a ton of rain last night and it's cold today, so it's uh, and windy. It's not super pleasant. So Donovan's been super busy right today. You can see uh, yeah, he's been doing a lot. So the sheathing on the outside here is up. You come inside, you can see the window has been pulled and replaced by that coming all the way around. The framing for the window is in here, or the windows. So that will further be subdivided into three window openings. And now uh, Donovan's attaching all these truss things. We got these long six inch screws, which will pin those trusses into the double top plate. That's a heck of an extension thing. Okay, next thing today is the subfascia, which is the board that will span all these tails and uh, support the actual fascia later on. How's that sound? Perfect!
So that takes care of the subfascia. We're leaving it long for now until we uh, figure out what we're going to be doing for the return detail there. Now one little trick that I always found kind of interesting about the subfascia is how it's installed. You can see a step down like that. It's lined up so the outside of the subfascia is in the same plane as the, uh, the rafter. If you put a square on there, a straight edge, you can see that it's kind of continuous there. That saves you from having to rip the uh, roof pitch onto the edge of your subfascia. Saving steps and time. online. So next we're going to start with our roofing. First thing going on here is the strip edge. Here's what the, that kind of looks like in profile. So this is going to give a place for the water to roll over the edge. You don't have this on here. As the water comes around here you'll probably end up getting your sheathing wet and it'll rot out just yep. like my old house which didn't have a drip edge. Too cold? It's 38 degrees on OSB. When temperatures are under 40 degrees, under limit will not fully adhere until warmer temperatures. Store room temperature prior to installing in cold weather. That's not sticky at all. No, let me try. Saying. It's like there's zero sticky to it. So that ice and water shield, which is uh, self-adhesive, I think it's a little too cold out here for it because it's not sticking <laughs> at all. So uh, we're gonna push that one off to the future a little bit and keep moving forward. We're gonna get the uh, the tie deck installed in the wall, and then I think we're gonna reattach the deck to the house. Yes. Down there is above right now. You're gonna go or not? It's going. Huh? It's going. All right, drive it, drive it down. I think it's 
tastes pretty good. Alright. I'm gonna send a couple of eggs in here just to or a couple. Good morning, everybody. Today is November 12th. It's Friday. It's another one of those like damp, cold days. I think today is gonna be a little more uh let's say chill <laughs> in a sense just kind of wrapping up a bunch of small things and essentially getting ready for what we're going to be doing next week so out here i'm going to get these joist hangers put on here so you can pull the uh, temporary support out from here and be essentially done with this area for now i have the hangers out here for the deck to install and then there's all the hangers for the rafters inside uh those aren't as critical because they can be done at any time and uh basically i have one box of nails and how far I get with that is as far as I'm going to get. But next week we're going to be working inside. We're going to start removing the staircase. So Donovan's going to be prepping for uh, some of that. So uh, he's down in the new basement <laughs> getting things ready back there for that. So I'm going to slam in some nails and then we'll go see what uh, Donovan's up to in the backyard. All right, all hangers installed. Let's go see what Donovan's up to. So since it's sleeting outside, we're gonna work on this a little bit. Finish installing the green tile around this foundation. So we have our, our through holes, which link us to the drain tile on the outside. And we'll just come around through here and tie into the existing one in the house, which is this uh, pipe. One of, them. one of these somewhere. <laughs> so tie in there somewhere, and I'll go to the existing sump pump. Okay, so this is the other side of that wall, and what we're trying to do is this uh, this pipe here is where the water line that goes out to the pastures went before. We're looking at putting it in somewhere down here so it's not in our our, uh, our finished wall later on. We're at 18 inches on center to the floor, and then this is the pit with a sump pump in it. That's where all the drain tile ends up going, and then it gets pumped out that way. And then this right here is the uh, the main water line coming in from the well. So it's encased in the concrete and then comes into the house that way. 18 inches from the floor to the center of that pipe. Really? Yeah, and then the, the sump pit is just over to the left of it a little bit. So the pit's kind of like right here on that side of the wall. And if you come to your left a little more, you'll miss the stud. Because that one's going right through the middle of a stud right now. So 18 inches to the floor? Yep, from the center of that pipe. Which puts this up into the floor. We gotta put this at an angle. Because we're in the, we'll be in the floor then. Our floor? Yep, because I wanna I want to stay under our floor is gonna start here. Mm -hmm. So if I come over like right right about there. Yeah, and we'll go up into the and we'll, Yeah. And we'll go up that way. Not sure if I'm through or not. Did you hit insulation yet? I don't know. I can't tell. We'd probably bring an electrical <laughs> in through there too. Yeah, I figured we would just to get it all kind of out of the way. Then, it, then it's all everything's out of there. Alright, I'm going to go inside. We'll take a look. Okay, so there's a new pathway for the, the water line that goes to the pastures. This just needs a, uh, a fitting here to connect and that'll be all good. So I think we're gonna put this area on pause for now until we buy a fitting, and then this can all go back together and that's gonna be a lot nicer. And now that brings that water line underneath our floor instead of through the wall. So that takes care of a little corner here. So that's all kind of ready to go. 
Looks like we're going to have to bring a little bit of material back in here to level things out. We'll do that next week sometime when we're cutting our doorway, which should be kind of interesting. Yeah. While we're down here, I thought I'd answer one question we got quite a lot when we were excavating around this water line, which was why we didn't move it to a different spot while we had it out there. And our general logic, which a certain somebody took me down the road of, is if something ever happens to the water line, which is gonna which is under here, under our footing, you're gonna be digging out there. You're gonna be digging out there. Anyway. So if anything happens to the water line, the current one will just become abandoned and we'll put a new one in all the way out to the well. So you're gonna be, you're gonna be tearing up the yard anyway yep. if there's ever an issue. And, yeah. and there's easy access on the outside of this too to right. get into the house. So we're at right here. So this is the utility room behind this wall. This seam right here, the room on this side is also a utility room. So it's very easy to get stuff into the house still, even though this is the only finished space. So if it happens in the future, it's a big right. problem anyway. And then we didn't, the other thing was that we didn't have to cut put a splice in the line. Yeah, I'd rather not have a splice there to begin with under the floor. Yeah, so. so it's, there's no, we left everything, we didn't change the length of it all. It's the same as it was. We did move the electrical a little bit, yep. but the. There's no buried splices. There's no buried splices, <laughs> exactly. I prefer over relocating it. Yep, because relocating it, we would have been, we would have done a lot more excavation. Yeah. And we would have had to splice because the well is another 35 feet out there. Yeah, you can kind of see it over the hilltop there. Right there, so. Through the retaining wall. Yeah, through the retaining wall. Yeah, that's a, if there's a problem in 20 years, then we'll worry about it. Right, didn't fall down. I got. There's still time. We got time. Oh. The only thing we're waiting for now are the brackets for the top of the posts. Yep. Right? Because they're just kind of chilling right now. We got a couple hacks in them, but we'll. So we got. We'll put a jack underneath here. Pull these, pop them out, and then. With the brackets in that will attach. Yeah, we'll do our final attachment later. Yep. Yeah. So that is going to do it for uh, this one, and I guess the majority of the outside work. Next week, we're going to get into some of the inside stuff, and that's where things are going to start getting interesting, because up until this point, there's, there's a little bit of, like, tying things into existing, but there's a lot more complexity as we get inside and trying to work around all of the existing systems and structures and all that. So that should be... Uh, kind of fun and then we'll be out here again in the spring it's gonna be all we'll be inside a lot and then outside a lot in the spring so thank you as always for watching i greatly appreciate it if you have any questions or comments on the home edition remodel thing please feel free to leave me a comment as always i'll be happy to answer any questions you might have and until next time <laughs> happy working